they thought I was committing suicide. And people from my office sent the police because they thought I was committing suicide. And at the time, I was so perplexed by it because it was the complete opposite. I had originally moved out to San Diego. I was in the golf industry. I got really into the Monday through Friday life that is, is corporate America and honestly having the weekends for partying. I continued having these just depressing hangovers, I'd call it, of really questioning what I was doing in life, questioning what I was doing to my body. One early morning was just a, a last straw of sorts. Like I just got a, an understanding that maybe this, this was not good. This, this something was wrong. I just felt like I was meant to have a bigger impact in some way. And I, I got a gut intuition that I was supposed to quit my job. I just sent an email and I, I just sat there in, in this moment of just really heading into what was the complete unknown. I'd burned all the bridges, just quitting, just with no two week notice, just on a dime. And I start just writing in my journal, just, just talking about you know, my experiences and what I'm feeling. And then as I'm writing, all of a sudden I look up and there's, there's five police officers that just, just parked a, a truck and are coming over my way. <laughs> and the police officers come over and they ask, are you the one that's writing emails talking about some higher calling? And I'm like, oh boy, this, like, this, is, this is serious. And obviously I told him, no, I, I don't, wanna, don't wanna commit suicide. I promise you, it's, it's the complete opposite. I just quit my job, people, people do it every day. And they're like, well, not, not in the way you did. So I want everyone just to, to take a second and close your eyes and just get present and acknowledge how cool it is that something like this exists. So before a speech, I, I really try and, and get, into my, get into my body and really just zone in on what I want to say and really try and make a connection. So when you can connect with someone automatically, you know, they have a, you have a, they have a little jolt and they, they see you and all of a sudden they're connected a little more. It really comes down to sharing. It's like when we find something awesome, we want to give it to others. And I feel like that's really, when it comes down to it, why I, I do what I do now. It's like I've, I've found this, this passion that I know is, is within everyone, or I found this more peaceful, happier, purposeful way of living that I need to share. I need to share with as many people as I, as I can because it's helped me so much, so drastically. And, and speaking has allowed me to, to share something I'm natural with, share something I enjoy, to, hope, to, to instill more of that in, to, into others and the people that I, I speak in front of. The legacy that I'm here to leave is, is really to, to have that, the influence that was had on me, that positive influence that changed my life. If I can have that on as many people as possible, then that's, that's the legacy. And to understand that every day, I need to work towards that. Every day I need to work to, to be most alive and, and, and live with passion because I'm, I'm having that impact with, with everyone I meet. I, I can't see the ripple effect, but it's, it's understanding that it's there.